Welcome to the live stream. Uh, we're going to be drawing a steam engine tonight. It's actually this steam engine. If you're on uh, you're on YouTube watching this live, then you can see it. If you're on TikTok, tough luck. You can't see nothing. Go over to YouTube. Anyway, I can only draw a card in 2D. Watch the YouTube vid. Yeah, we'll go over to YouTube right now. I'm live over on there, and you can actually see more. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> going to cover up the areas that I'm not working on, mostly so I don't smudge them, but it also gives me uh, something to just focus on. I'm going to focus right now just on this tire. <clears throat> this, uh, I don't think it's a tire; it's a wheel. Uh, we're going to I'm going to start off. I've got some pretty heavy outlines here. I'm going to erase them because we're using the white here in this corner, and uh, it's just not going to look right if I've got a big bold outline so we're starting already there we go it's uh, <clears throat> about seven o'clock we're starting I expect I'll be done this one maybe I don't know 8 30 or so maybe an hour and a half I don't know I haven't, I haven't drawn a steam engine for quite a long time so it could take longer than I remember I just I don't really remember so I guess we'll find out together <clears throat> Putting a little bit of a uh, highlight in here. Do you do tractors that are aren't fully built and or rusty? I've done a few rusty tractors. I'd rather not do rusty tractors, honestly. But uh, you know, I I do a rusty one every once in a while. <clears throat> All right. All right. So starting off here, just going down. Trying to find some of the darkest spots in this wheel so that we can shade them in, blend them in. And the lightest spots I'm working on. Okay. That under here is pretty dark. edge and then up under here is pretty dark so <clears throat> all right mine you sent is in pieces well I'll take a look at it if you uh a lot of people have been sending me stuff over on Instagram. That's the best way to get my attention right now for the moment is to send me some bids on Instagram. And uh, that's really been working out to find the right people in the right places. So anyway, that's your best option right now if you're trying to get pictures to me to draw or whatnot. <clears throat> all right. Just trying to find all the dark spots here. This, this is already starting to be a challenge to me. Be honest with you, this one's this one's gonna be difficult. I think I can do it. All right. Need this pencil sharpened already. It's not not the line I'm looking for. <clears throat> okay. There. Now we're good and sharp. Let's find these lines coming off of this these spokes here. They're going to be difficult, aren't they? Right. There's a hub in the center here. Just looking briefly, it looks like there's a little bit of a highlight on the top of the hub. I'm putting that in there right there. For those over on YouTube, this is the, what I'm looking at right there. <clears throat> All right. I'm trying to find where this hub starts and stops. And she's being contrary because it's just so much in such a little space I really think it's important to get this wheel to look really good though because I think there's so much detail in this wheel the spokes and if, if I pull it off it'll look really good and if I don't it'll stand out like a sore thumb <clears throat> Is that? Alright, there's a 
go across through here. And it's just kind of important to get the spokes in somewhat right places here because if they don't, it'll look bad. Trying to trace out all these spokes, that was a pain in the butt. <clears throat> Here's Groovy. What's up, Groovy Ideas? If you like my stuff, you should go follow Groovy if you're watching on uh, TikTok. Groovy Ideas has some really amazing drawings, I will say that. Does some stuff that completely amazes me. So if you like what I'm doing, definitely love what they're doing. I've had a lot of fun with YouTube. Just getting the uh, getting everything going over there and trying to figure it out. I've had some good interactions on my live so far already, and that's been fun. Yeah, it's just been it's just been a little bit of fun over there. So if you don't follow me, follow me over there. That's where my future's at. But I don't necessarily think TikTok is the best platform for artists. I just don't see it in the future. We'll see. All right, trying to just get a little bit of a highlight on some of these spokes in the right places. Not to overdo it because it's it's pretty dark in there. So, all right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take blending stump. I've got a brand new blending stump. I love working with new blending stumps. Sometimes, sometimes they're a pain in the butt when they're new. I'm just gonna go through these spokes right here. With my nice sharp point that I've got on these things. I'm just gonna put the spokes where they're at and set them in there. Essentially, what I'm doing. <clears throat> Starting to realize there are a few spots here where the spokes are running through here. Just gonna make sure they're in there. All right. How's that? Hey, if you're watching me on TikTok, go ahead and tap tap the screen a few times. Get me some likes. That's the only way they're uh, pushing TikTok content out right now on lives, is to get some likes. So help me out, would you? If you enjoy it, go ahead and double tap that screen. If you don't, well, get out of here. I'm just kidding. You can stay. Just kidding. You don't have to leave. You can if you want. I'm not, I'm not holding anybody captive here. <laughs> And if you're over here on YouTube, welcome. You're seeing all the good stuff over on YouTube. Just say. And if you're watching it on a YouTube playback, well, you missed all the fun, but you're still seeing some of it, so that's cool. when you're uh, swiping with this blending stump it kind of sounds like a steam engine <laughs> oh the things I do to occupy myself <clears throat> all right I think that tire is almost done I'm just going to clean up the edges a little bit here Everything I've done, I think the just the black and white of the uh, of the charcoal and pastel white is my favorite thing to work with. It really is. I have everything I've, I've painted before. I've you know, done all types of stuff, and this is this is what's fun. It's where it's at for me. 
feel like I'm the best with this too. Not like I'm the best in the world. I'm saying my best is right here. Two colors, black and white. Some gray in the middle. You know what I mean? All right. Just trying to find all the shapes in here and make sure I'm getting something similar to what it looks like in real life. trick that I use I always print out a copy of whatever I'm drawing in uh, you know, black and white from the printer that way I can just skip one step of you know, figuring out what it looks like black and white when it's really color so all right that's that front wheel I guess I'm mover do about half the axle here and I'm seeing a few just holes in this axle need to be pretty dark I really like this picture that I'm working off of just mostly because of all the white that's in it there's so many reflections of light on this black steam engine it just I think it's gonna look really good find all this contrast in here so, so right there that's gonna be white down here section is going to be light gray so I'm going to put some white in here so that I can bring it down to gray later and this section over here still gray um, this here there's like a J here I think it's like a hook like a it's where you chain it down or something maybe like a D ring maybe I don't know I can't really tell what I'm seeing the best part about what I draw is you don't have to know what you're seeing you just got to know the shape of it and figure out what to draw so that's what I'm doing now this white comes all the way over halfway across the d-ring and be careful not to mess up in here already got a little bit of color in there let me find my eraser go in there Jack just sent a picture that's cool I'll check it out afterwards all right now I need to get some dark down here in the bottom this section right down here, a lot of lights missing from there. It's a weird way to say it, but there's just there's a lot of light missing. It's dark. Inside the D-ring's got a dark stripe, for lack of better terms. And just under this real bright section is a white, a dark section. I'll chase that across. All right, and then down at the bottom of this, there's a dark line. And the top of this, it's kind of like it's outlined in real life. It's cool, makes it easy for me. It's outlined. All right, coming in here, just making sure I'm keeping that white where it's at, working around everything else that I just did, being careful not to get rid of the uh, few details that are in here. center of the D-ring. That's about as far as I want to go for right now. Clean up these edges here a little bit. Alright. Keep an eye on the chat bar. If you feel like drop me a message, go ahead. Might be a few seconds till I get to it, but I'm going to try. All right, I'm going to move up now. I'm going to hit this uh, smokestack because I really want to. Just running a white beam across the top because the top of this got tons of light on it. Same right here on this bridge. I'm seeing it. And this actually wraps down around the edge a little bit, just a little bit. And then down here, about here, seeing a shadow come across about halfway it's uh the shadows cast that way so i'm just filming that in as best i can um that's going to go down about here i'm just going to put a little bit of white in not making it white i'm just a little bit of white so that i can gray it out later <clears throat> i'm 
it'll work down. I think I'll do this light while I'm doing it too. It's kind of all one big section here. So while I got the white at the top, I'm going to do some just some real faint white here so that we can fill it in between. light's got like a lantern ring up here there's white on the side of it and I think there's white down in here if I can tell right there and in here this is white now I'm exaggerating the contrast a lot that's something I do in a lot of my drawings I'll make it a little bit lighter than it actually is in real life and the reason for that is just to make things pop apart I learned that from a tattoo artist <laughs> Keeping your contrast bold and strong really makes everything just better. So that's what I'm doing. I take a lot of my inspiration on how to draw from tattoo artists. Uh, that's what inspired me to start drawing again as an adult in, I think, 2012-ish. I was watching a tattoo artist draw a guitar that he put on my arm. And I'm like, I think I can do that. Went home and tried it, and sure enough, I did. I'd like to say I never quit drawing since, but I did quit for a while. I got burnt out, and I'm back now. So, doing this on my own, on my own terms this time. I cared too much about what other people thought before, and it burnt me out. So, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> not doing that one again. I learned my lesson, I think. All right. And how far do I want to go? I think I'll go down to where it meets the, uh, where it meets the, I guess that's a boiler section there. Firebox, whatever that happens to be. I don't know what you call steam engine parts. <laughs> I've been around them my whole life, but I've never really been like intimate with them. I've always just been like, they're there, I'm there. I like looking at them, and that's about it. I don't know a lot about them, though. Okay. Coming in here to the darkest spots. Now, I know the darkest spot for this stack is going to be on the left side. And it's pretty much everything inside of here. It's really dark. And I'm laying it down pretty heavy. I might come back across it later, but for now, I'm, I'm putting pretty heavy color down here right in here is really dark so I'm gonna come across here this I'm putting it's gonna be heavy but not quite as heavy as it is at the bottom I'm working with my contrast a little bit just to darken it as it goes down just to give it uh, a little bit of the depth when I really darken this bottom side of this ridge here That ridge and then this ridge here this is I wish I had a darker pencil than I even have right now and I don't it'll be fine we'll, we'll double up on it if I have to All right. now this section here I've left it white I'm not leaving it white I'm gonna, I'm gonna color over it with a light layer of black to give it a gray color because it's gray we know it's gray I know it's gray at least trying to find my dark spots might need to sharpen this again for on this little detail here hi Clem Hey, how you doing, Roper? Welcome back to my lives. I think you've probably been the most active of every one of the people on my channel. I appreciate you for that. Drawing a 1902 K steam engine today. 
try to do her some justice. She's a beautiful beast, and I'd like to keep her that way. So, let's see what I can do with her. If everybody over on TikTok's wondering who I'm talking to, I'm in the chat over on the YouTube live. You should come over here. It's more fun. Just saying. I'm trying to get the word out on my YouTube channel. That's a difficult, difficult platform to work on. But I'm getting there. I'm starting to grow over there. I think that's where my future's at. I really do. All right. And back underneath here, there's no light hitting whatsoever. So. I requested this on TikTok. Well, that's awesome. Are you the guy that sent me the picture from Georgia, I think it was? Or are you just one that said, I want a steam engine? I've been looking for a steam engine to draw for quite a while. That's my uncle's tractor. He died and gave it to my brothers away. I missed something here. Hold on. Can you do a 78 Ford 2600 on YouTube or on here, please? Well, I'm on both. Okay. Um, if, uh, if you want to get me something, if you want to request something to draw, the best way to do that that I found, and, and right now what's working, is shoot me a DM on Instagram. Let me know uh, what you got. Send me the picture. That's the best way. Because uh, everything else is so busy and getting lost that that's really the only one I have time to pay attention to. All right. Stay in the lines. All right. There's that top of that. Let's bring this around a little bit. Come on down with that. I'm going to do the rim of this light. I love this light. I hope it turns out as good as I think it will. There's a lot of detail in it, so it should, well, a lot of perceived detail. We've talked about that a few times. Everybody always comments on how much detail I put into my stuff, but in reality, I think it's just, uh, it's not really detail that people are seeing. It's your mind playing tricks on you. You think it's detail, but in reality, it's not a lot to it. Your eye will, your mind fills in what your eye doesn't see. And your eye fills in a lot on my drawings. Don't even realize it. So I like the way that turned out. Blender a little more. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. All right, my brother in law side of the family owns some steam engines. That's awesome. I'll take a quick drink here. Do a Linderman crawler tractor. I want to do a crawler, actually, not specifically a Linderman, but I want to do a crawler. Um, my grandfather has, and well, had, and my brother has it now. Um, a John Deere MC crawler. I loved driving that thing around, and uh, I'd love to do that thing, but it's in the back of the shed, and it's really tough to get a picture of where it's at. Eventually, though might get restored when it does I'm gonna draw it I'd love to do a crawler though I, I love crawlers the problem with crawlers is I like drawing I like drawing tractor tires there's no there's no tires on a crawler there's no tires on the steam engine either so to be fair alright I don't know I don't know if I like that stack the way it is I need to darken it a little more. I think I gotta darken it a little more. She's not showing up right. It's something's off on it. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little more coal in that thing. We'll see if that helps. Just it looks shiny to me. I don't know if it's the way the light's hitting or what, but it just doesn't look quite right. So it's a little better. We can come back to it if it doesn't look good later. 
I think that's going to be good. All right. Hit the bottom of this. Two different things here. When you're shading these things, you should always, uh, well, I always, I don't know if you should always, because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I always uh, find the different parts and uh, do them separately. They just seem to turn out better that way. So, What's your Instagram? It's Clem's Tractor Art. That is my Instagram. Just look me up over there. That's the best way to get to me. Clem's Tractor Art. All right, moving on main section I think this is another one of those parts that if I don't pull this off it's gonna everybody's gonna realize it and if I do pull it off well nobody's gonna realize it so I just gotta make it look good Putting a lot of weight in here for a black steam engine, right? <laughs> Hope she turns out. She should. She should. And right here. Yeah. All right. Come down across the eagle here, Just sitting on the globe. Eagle on top of the world. Beautiful symbol symbology. That is the case emblem. I want to make sure I do this eagle well because I don't want to I don't want to look like a, a pigeon sitting on top of the world here. It's gotta be gotta be case. Do the Kinsey tractor that was built from two semis. I don't know if I've seen that. I'll have to look it up though. That sounds cool. It sounds really cool. It sounds like something that would be cool to draw. And that's about all the detail I need to put in for the white. I'll come back in here now, find a few darker spots to fill in. Right there, tail of the eagle. The eagle's wing is going to have a little bit of a swooshy across it. Down between here, this spot here, this is a big point of contrast. Need to make sure that stays dark. This comes back to here. Here. A lot of a lot of dark right on this edge. So keep a dark line right here. This is another one of those. I just I don't draw a lot of these steam engines. It's been uh, what eight years at this point since I've tried to draw a steam engine. I'm doing it live for all of you, so I may fail. I always say that, you know, you're getting the real deal here. If if it looks terrible in the end, well, you're you're gonna see it look terrible in the end. Uh, I'm not gonna cover that up. I might take down the video afterwards, but I'm not gonna like cut away. You're always going to get to see it if it looks terrible, and you're going to see it if it looks good. And it's live, so. 
get to see it together. I always get nervous doing stuff like this though, because it's so different than a tractor. It's typically a tractor you're not dealing with cast iron, black, black, blackity, black, 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 black. Everything black on it. Right. I'll just flatten out the eagle a little bit with a brand new bloom and stump that I just got. Alright, now we'll go to the other side. Alright, I'm going to start up here at the top, I think. Try to find all these little details and just punch them in a little bit. There's kind of a ridge around the boiler here with the end, end cap. Make sure I get all that ridge accounted for. And keep that contrast there as best I can. The rest we're just going to smudge it black trying not to mess up everything else we just did if we mess it up then we're going to fix it there's so much charcoal on this page right now it's so dark does anybody know if a dog can eat pencil shavings because uh my dog yesterday got into my trash can, dumped everything on the ground, and then I realized afterwards that there's no pencil shavings left in that trash can. I make a lot of pencil shavings. That dog ate all pencil shavings. He ain't dead yet, so I'll let you know what happens on that one. All right, there's the end of that engine. She's looking good. Now... I'm already noticing that half of this down here, it looks really good, but I want to darken it just a little bit. So I'm just going to put some charcoal across that and try to darken half of the eagle. Because everything down here has actually got a little bit of a shadow cast to it. Alright, another drink of water. Alright, I'm back. Alright, so there's where we're at right now. I'm not as far as I'd like to be. But it's a really good progress, I think. So, I think I need to focus on this this wooden canopy now. Uh, there's not a lot in the wooden canopy that's actually going to show up. Um, it's just going to be just going to be some white lines across here where you can see like a little bit of light reflected on the wood, and not a ton of it, to be honest. It's uh, just a little bit. The rest is just going to be very dark. So I'm going to get rid of my overlay paper here for a minute while I'm working on this. I'm just going to try to punch these in without screwing up too much. Just like that. Alright. And then the side of the canopy, it's a lot brighter than everything else, but it's not quite white. I'm going to put a layer of white down first, and then we'll shade it to, shade it to light gray. Maybe keep it a little bit lighter than it is in the picture. Got some weird lights in here today. I don't think it's exactly the way I like it. I've got a pretty bad shadow I'm casting on everything here. And then we'll try to take care of. It's probably not good. I've had a dog eat and needed to race her. Like, yeah, I don't know. Do you own a traction engine? No, I... I don't even want to say I wish I do. Those things are expensive and take up a lot of space. I'm, I'm comfortable just watching them from a distance. Um, the, the guy that owns this one, though, sent me a picture on my Instagram DM. He's like, can you draw this? And it was perfect timing because I was currently looking for a steam engine to draw. So. Right place, right time for this fellow from Georgia. He ended up with a drawing of his... Well, hope he ended up with a drawing of a steam engine I ain't done yet so I don't know if it's actually gonna work or not all right so that's that's the side I got so much just stray charcoal here can I get rid of some of this all right there we go now one of my favorite things to do is when you take a big area like this that you know is just no detail in 
and you color it in and then you shade it out and it looks like something it's like it's impressive because you just don't expect it who owns that one it's, is it a 50 horsepower model i'm not sure what it is it's a 1902 case that's all i know i didn't get any details on it from him of what it was it's from georgia i know that um i don't remember the guy's name and uh, i don't i didn't ask if i could share it on here so i wouldn't tell you if i did without asking him permission first maybe he'll drop into the live later and uh, we can find out it's a beautiful beautiful picture of the engine i know that and uh, i know that just from the way the lights hitting it you know engine aside i don't know a ton about these things uh, i've been to steam shows my whole life but rode on a few with some friends but i don't know anything about them myself so I just know that the picture of this one was too good not to do. All right, so you're seeing here, all this white that I put down is gone now, right? I'm covering it up. It's leaving. And you think to yourself, unless you've seen my stuff before, why'd you waste time putting it in there? Well, I put it behind it so that it can pop back out later. And, uh, you know, the trick for me to get the most detail is to uh, actually leave detail out know what not to put in and that's how i do all my drawings is knowing what detail to leave out that's the one part i really can't teach to it's just it's not something you can i can teach at least knowing what detail to leave out so i'm excited to do this bell in here too done one bell in the past and it didn't turn out great so I'm looking for redemption now if this YouTube thing takes off I'll get some better cameras and better lighting and all that but right now I'm not making any money off of this so I'm gonna keep it uh, very very low tech i did invest in a webcam and uh, this arm for the webcam that we're looking at it from but that's about it all right i'm gonna take a big old blending stump i'm just gonna come through here so that white that we put in there is popping through just like we wanted it to Barely, but it's there. That's all we're looking for. All right, get my smaller blending stuff for the detailed work. Every time after I record these lives, and yeah, the next morning I wake up and can't hardly move because of all the damage I've done to my back leaning over in the way I have to to <laughs> do these pictures. Ideally, I wouldn't be hunched over looking at this and I'd be sitting comfortably, but to get the to get it all on camera you know, kind of gotta be hunched over so starting to think maybe this blending stump I got a dud it's not it's leaving a streak to move back to one of the older blending stumps old tried and true trusty ones So this is an eraser I'm using right now. It's called Mono Zero. It's like a mechanical pencil, but it's an eraser. Really good for doing stuff like that right there that I just did. All right, there's a 
little hoop to do that hangs down there. Make sure we keep that hoop to do in there. I'll get rid of this one for a minute. We're not using that one. It's in the way. All right. Y'all didn't even see it, but took care of it off screen. There's that. I like the way that turned out. I think we're moving to the bell next. All right, so bring my paper back. There's some smudgies on there. <clears throat> There's a whistle, bell, a whole bunch of mechanism. With this, all I'm going to be doing is finding some, some highlights. It's pretty dark in here. Not a lot to highlight. So... Just finding a few highlights and uh, filling them in so that they pop through. It's the goal, at least. There's really not a lot in here that pops out. Here. Get back to the comments here in a second. I'll just focus real hard for a second. All right. Happy I got to see a live stream. Awesome. Glad you're here. If you go over to my YouTube channel, I've got a better view of it. You can actually look down on top of what I'm doing and see what's actually going on. Just FYI, if anybody's interested, I'm pushing that YouTube channel really hard, if you haven't noticed. I'm trying to, at least. I'd, I'd like that to be my future. I want it to be. Let's see if it works or not. Sometimes it's tough on these things that I'm not as familiar with to focus on where I'm at and remember where to stay where I'm at. Because uh, it's just, it can be really tough to figure out where I'm at if I don't know what the part is. Like on a tractor, I can look be like, yep, I'm in the third spark plug or something like that. But on the steam engine, I, I'm at this random bolt <laughs> that I don't know what it does. <laughs> Now it says case on the side of this. I leave most of the emblems off of my work. Um, just something I do. And anyway, so I'm going to leave case off of this for this point. bit of light underneath of here all right while you're working on that I'm working on a picture of 70 7 7 70 700 John Deere combine with a 40 20 gravity wagon in the background also it's a very nice looking steam engine awesome I'm glad to hear that's awesome I'm, that's really cool you do pretty good work I will say, just looking at what you got, you got definitely above average. Okay, she has some music going in here or something. Afraid to put music in, then I'll get a copyright strike. I don't need that. Alright, what else we got? All this in here has got 
a lightness to it. I'm going a lot further with this white pencil than I dreamed I would. I didn't uh, didn't really expect to get this far down the, the engine, but while I'm going, I'm going to just finish off this section. Try to try to keep it uh, keep it going because I've, I've got a pretty good idea of where I'm at right now to do so all right you know you said the other day that you uh you wanted to try to do my outline and then uh, i've saved you could do the same thing you go back and watch them with the uh, your own paper and draw with me if you do that let me know if you send it to me i put it on my tiktok or youtube as fan art and uh show the world if you'd be interested just saying be pretty cool all right i just wanted to do the bell that's all i was working on here i don't know how i got all the way down the front of that engine <laughs> just trying to do the bell I know this whole section here is really dark. How far does it go, though? That's the question. I think it goes to this pipe right here. There's a pipe that comes up here. Pretty dark. Just lost the pencil point. Dang. That was a good point. I pushed a little hard. And she broke. She broke. I think I've got more here that I didn't put in. It goes all the way back to there. I like it. Okay, so if we come up here, is no S. Where are we? All right, I see where we're at. Okay. So there's a, a Hooji What's It right there. It's the best term I got for it, because I don't know what that is. This is dark. Right in here. I don't want to follow along with the blend and stump right after me on this one. Hmm. This is quality entertainment right here. Me talking to myself, right? Oh yeah, looking good on the YouTube side. <laughs> nice. YouTube's where it's at. They, they let me... Uh, do multiple cameras and that type of stuff. It's really what I need. TikTok's not cutting it anymore for, for this. As much as I like the TikTok platform, it kind of did me wrong a few times here. So For a second, get some of these details done in here. Definitely some details in here that need to need to pop out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
not much detail in here that I haven't got already so I'll go all the way up to there all the way down to there filler in the rest black that's all right with y'all <laughs> how back does that go that goes underneath we just fade her out to underneath that doesn't look like much I'll be honest with you I hope she looks better after I smudge her out <laughs> Squeaky, squeaky. I don't know. We'll see what she looks like when it's done. It don't look like much yet, does it? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's coming. We'll get her. One way or another, I'll figure this thing out. detail so much detail for these things try to do that Well, that's making it look better already. All right, You're just joining us. It's a uh, 1902 case, the steam engine. So we're getting a 
getting the front of her done right now. We've got more to go. Can you imagine being one of the guys that was building these things back in the day or engineering them? And like, learning how to keep these things pressurized but not exploding. That had one heck of a job. I just can't imagine. You know? <laughs> I just can't imagine. Okay, is that we're gonna come through here? There's some rivets in here that I want to make sure I don't lose. It's just gonna be light gray down through here. So I'm putting some black over top of the white. All right, let's start at the bottom here. This little rectangular section down here by the axle. thing you got to learn to trust your eye you got to just draw exactly what you see not what you think you see uh, don't, don't draw what uh, your mind tells you is there just draw what your eye exactly sees okay that's what I saw that's what I drew she's turning out she's looking all right what's up Alex Sampson five Drilling over on YouTube too, you can see a top down view. If you're interested, go over to YouTube. I wonder if TikTok hates it that I'm uh, pulling people away from their platform. You think? Can't imagine they like that. But I can't imagine I like what I'm shadow banned on my other account. So, TikTok, why are you being a bully? <laughs> like a passive aggressive roommate. What did I do wrong? Oh, nothing. Well, you shadow banned me. No, I didn't. Well, yes, you did. Why'd you shadow ban me? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong. I'll fix it. Then they don't. That's how I feel, at least. That's how I feel. All right. How's that look? Put a little bit of white down on some of these sections down here because I know it's there. I'm going to fade this later. All right, come in with the black pencil. Black pencil, come in. This one is here. So what my eye sees here is just this big white section with uh, a few little teeny highlights in it. So I'm going to trust that's it and I'm going to shade her.
to darken a few of these areas. I'm going to do all of this together. This whole section right here. The, the uh, right rear wheel, the front axle on the left side, all of this is going to be together. That's the thought at least. Okay. All right. Let's grab the blender. Okay, front axle. <laughs> that just it popped out. I didn't see it coming. There it was. Bang. Just like that. She's there. I'll do this left front tire while I'm here. Now I'm gonna have to readjust here. Just give me a second. I've got this uh this black and white white reference photo over here. I'm just gonna shift her around a little bit. Just to look at the tire. Yeah. Now there's a lot, 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 lot of brightness on this front wheel. So this one here is like dark. Everything over here is really dark. But this one here, if we look at the uh, the other one, it is the sun's hitting it. And I need to make sure that sun stays hitting it. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to make the sun hit it. So the top of this sucker, all of this is going to be bright. All the way down to about here. Kind of goes up this way, comes down. Get down in here. Now, I mean, I, I hate to draw this like mud and rust here, but that's going to be what makes this thing look like it's real. So that's what we're going to do. I can make her look factory floor new, but what good does that do when you can't tell it's this engine? I want it to look like this engine, not just an engine. Okay. All right. Top of the hub. Center of it. Around the hub, spoke, 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 this spoke, this spoke, another spoke, and there's this spoke here. Guess what this is? That's right, it's a spoke. <laughs> Where's this one? Where you at, sucker? She was hiding, but she's there. I spoke. I think there's a little bit of a highlight here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find the other details. There's a really weird white part here on the hub. What else we got? This down here, the light's hitting pretty hard, so we'll fill her in. Is. This is brighter out here, so we'll just make it a little bit light. Not really, but a little bit. Alright, back in here, there's some light hitting on this actual, actual section that we're seeing through here. So 
want to make sure that shows through. All right. Cool. She's coming along. All right. Where is the darkness now? A little line there. bunch back here this whole section in here this I'm kind of gridding out just you know seeing what's in there and following as if the wheel itself is the grid line dark line another dark line and all this up here is the body of the engine this entire thing is there. I just covered up my white. I'm going to grab the white pencil quick. And just like that, she's back. As long as I don't completely make it go away, I can always bring it back pretty easily. And, I mean, I drew it the first time. I can draw it again if I have to. <laughs> just don't want to. light pressure here so it's not black it's just a little dark and come across a few of these very 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 lightly I think this is gonna have to do I'm trying to find what else we got here there's a shadow back in here a shadow I think I think that's the wheel I think that's it She's really bright. I don't know. Are you too bright? Blending stumps I got today are made from rice paper, and I don't I don't really like them yet. I almost feel like they're putting a shininess on it. I ain't, I ain't figured out how to use them, I guess. They're good and sharp, I'll say that. spoke here you see that there's a spoke that's not there that used to be there let's get that spoke back that spoke is right here and this one here I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and get all these spokes again they all got lost a little bit a few details on the wheels got lost I feel like there should be a spoke here. It's not there. It is now. <clears throat> Alright, that's that's gonna be good for that. Still a long ways to go. Been drawing now for about an hour, I think. And uh yeah, an hour and ten minutes. That's as far as we got. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. 
but I also knew that coming into it, I haven't drawn a steam engine for forever, so I don't know how long it would take. All right, moving back just a little bit here. I'm going to hit this engine here. Goals to finish this tonight. I don't, I don't know if we'll do it or not. We'll see. Just trying to find light sources here a little bit. are messing with me a little bit here everything's getting blurry let's buy a k65 <laughs> i have a 530 neat i uh i don't know it's a 1902 case that's all i know <laughs> back we lost our stream there for a second but she came back Guns and ammo. Have you found my YouTube channel yet? I'm streaming live over there too. You get the top down view, it's much better. Just saying. I'm pushing that pretty hard tonight. Trying to grow over there. You know, it's a tough platform. What did I miss over here? Let's see if I can find it all. Let's back a little further. Look at this. All this in here. Nice. Ooh-wee. Step that step, another step.
you always wonder why I keep checking over there. I've got my TikTok live over there. I've got my YouTube chat up there. So if you see me looking to different sides, that's what I'm doing. It's just to see what the community is saying, if anything. It's been a slower night, which is to be expected for a weekend. And a steam engine. Not to say steam engines aren't cool. They're, just, they're not as fun to like watch people draw, I don't think. I don't know. I think I'm probably the only guy drawing a steam engine on a live stream tonight. In the world. I could be wrong. I just feel like that's probably true. All right, everything we just did, we got to come back and do again with the dark pencil and just find all these little nuances that make it this tractor. You know, I could sit here and just draw a factory you know, case steam engine, but if I want to make it look great, make it look like this tractor, I want to spend some time doing that, so that's what I'm doing. Some of the stuff I'm going over and I'm going to cover the white. Some places I'm not covering the white. And it's just depending on how much white I want to show through. So, you see what looks like inconsistency. That's what you got, so. Hi Mason, how we doing? Hey, if you're ever on TikTok world, go ahead and hit a few, uh, hit the screen a few times, give me some likes. Got to play their games, right? Get views. Double tap that screen. One of the absolute toughest things on this one, redoing the outline, is to figure out where the man stops and where the uh, engine starts. Because I. Uh, I want to draw people it's something I like doing I never do a great job of it though I've got a few coming up where I'm actually gonna be drawing some people so that's gonna be tough for me but we're gonna do it it'll be some uh, Christmas presents for my family I've got some special stuff I'm drawing but anyway. <laughs> sharper point. So that's what I did. camera a little bit here. There, fixed. There we go. That's better. I always wear a hat because I don't want to do my hair. And I always bump my 
camera with my hat. so much going on in here that I don't understand. I'm just drawing it and hoping for the best. <laughs> so much. Okay, I understand this. It's a step. Necessarily understand what I see here. Bottom of the uh, firebox, I know that. But what I'm drawing, I don't know. Just hoping the uh, hoping the pencil finds it better than I can. Gotta go. Bye. Catch you later, Mason. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. You know, I, I say I appreciate you guys for uh, stopping in, and I really do. I understand that you've got a lot of things in the world you could be wasting your time on. To, to waste it watching me draw just means a lot to me, so I appreciate that. Alright, there's that. That's a mess. That's a gobbled mess, I'll, I'll be honest. With you. I don't even know what half of this is. <laughs> Whew. Let's see if I can find a few more details in here before we blend her out. Okay, well, one more, one more spot that I need to do something with, it's right here, alright, there goes nothing y'all, sort of understand out of the way first and into the stuff that I have no idea what I'm doing I'm trusting that what my eye saw is what's actually there because honestly I don't know what any of it was this is like my favorite part and the most terrifying part all at the same time Holy cow. Holy cow, it worked. I love to watch people draw. I'm so happy that I found someone that does almost exactly what I do. 
Yeah, you're right. There's there's not a lot of difference between what we do. You're you're drawing the stuff that I was drawing ten years ago. It's pretty awesome to watch myself, honestly. It's very cool. I like seeing your stuff too, because it's just it's just awesome. All right, that that I mean, y'all that worked. I hate to always sound like that, like, oh, I'm surprised, but honestly, it's just really cool to see it when it works. Oh, man, when I was a kid, you wouldn't catch me without markers in my hand, just drawing, drawing, drawing all the time, constantly. Now as an adult, it's kind of the same thing, but with charcoal. Okay, now I just got to finish up this rear wheel. So, you know how you finish it, you got to start, so I'm going to start. This one's been fun to draw. This one's been a lot of fun to draw. Let's take a quick look around. All the spokes, except for down here, are white. Even the ones down there have a tint to them, so. I'm going to draw my spokes in right now. Something in this, something in this uh, pencil. It's a, it's a weird spot in a pencil. Sometimes with these uh, pastel pencils, you'll get a, a chunk in the middle, and that's what I just got there. It's like it doesn't look different, but you can feel the difference. I'll say that. So this uh, this tire has like a cover across it. I think so that they can drive on asphalt without destroying the asphalt. I think. So that's what I'm drawing right now. And that's very bright. The sun's hitting it more than anything else on this picture. I think so. I feel like I might have got the perspective off just a little bit on this back tire somehow. It feels feels weird. Something feels weird. I don't know what it is. Okay. I'll try to... I think I can still fix it. Okay, I have my black now. My sharpener. 
You saw that. Thanks. You're quite welcome. So the way we learn is to watch others, right? And just figure out what they're doing that they do better than we are and different than we do, not necessarily better, just different and adapt. Growing up, I always would draw uh, tractors, trucks, and uh, baseball players. That's the three things I would draw the most. Uh, a few times I tried drawing cows, deer, that type of stuff, but never it never worked out anywhere near as good as when I would draw the tractor. So that just stuck for me. I ended up what I'm doing today. love to be able to do this for a living someday it kind of feels like a retirement program you know but I'd like bucket list retirement type deal I don't know if that's even possible or feasible but someday I'd love to how cool would that be <laughs> very cool that's how cool it would be very cool again and then hit them with the uh, black just a very light black all right <clears throat> I think we're almost ready for our blender here Draw. I'm happy that I found someone that doesn't make fun of me. Thanks. Sorry about that. That's cool. All right. Hello. Can you draw my truck? I don't take requests during the live. It's just too much to deal with. Uh, the best way to get in touch with me to draw my draw your thing or to make a suggestion on what to draw is to go into my Instagram and DM me. Um, that's the best way. Don't have Instagram? Tag me in a TikTok or a YouTube video or something somehow. That's, that's just how it works. Cause if I tried to stop my live every time I get a request, I'd never get anything done. And uh, there's been way too many requests in TikTok to keep up with it. Mostly from people with. Uh, I mean, let's face it. Most of the requests I get are stuff I would never draw. Um, I get a lot of just straight up lawnmowers. 
and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just I'm not drawing, I'm not drawing your you know, 1992 Craftsman or MTD. It just doesn't interest me. <laughs> but I get a lot of cool tractors over on Instagram, and uh, I try to draw them when I can. So. Well, how long have we been here? That's an hour and a half, hour and almost hour and 40 minutes on this. Plus, I started the outline the other day, took about maybe another half hour or so. So we're we're on over two hours into this one. And this is what we got. What do you think? I think she looks pretty good. I think she looks good. So, last thing I got to do is throw in some shadows under here. here, just like that, that should make her pop off the page a little, I like it, so a nice sharp white point here, how many followers do you have on Instagram and TikTok? TikTok, I have uh, almost 6,000 followers. Um, on Instagram, I have, what do I have? About 200 or so, something like that. Thanks for the likes there. Um, on my other TikTok channel, it's called uh, Jokes from the Bunker. I have a lot more followers. I've got about a quarter million followers over there all right she's signed she's done she's ready that's what I drew from and that's what turned out so show everybody here real quick try to get it flat on the screen go down go down there it is all right well, that's, uh, that's what I got. There she is. Case 1902 steam engine. She's drawn. That's where I'm going to end my YouTube live stream. I'll stay live on TikTok for a few more minutes. But uh, appreciate y'all stopping by. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank y'all. Catch you later.